R91 motors. This video is going to be pretty awesome and a pretty quick one actually. In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the grips on your handlebars and also the levers as well. So it's pretty cool. These are basic ones. They're not bad at all. Just I want to upgrade them and I think they will be looking much better. And uh, not only is let's have a show you the grips. The grips with these hands pretty nice and cool the orange color uh, eBay I'm not too sure they cost not a lot of money about 20 pounds maybe if maybe less a little bit but yeah that's your grip and these gonna be your levers in here also orange so let's make it happen and uh, check this video uh, we, let's start with the right side with acceleration see this is a little bit damaged uh, not looking good at all also this lever has been cracked as well i think someone someone went wrong way uh, right so what we're going to do first we're going to take this lever off as you see you've got negative the minus screwdriver on the top and also you've got 10 millimeter 10 millimeter boy in here so what you do just undo this little bolt on the bottom should come off pretty easy and uh yes it does just undo this little 10 millimeter bolt and then as you see it's off already simple as a crack one with the top one use your screwdriver like I said negative and just undo this thing in here so that comes off nice and smooth also as you see what it looks like Leave that one there and your lever is off. I mean, it took probably 25 seconds as. So now we're gonna crack one with this uh, acceleration part and uh, let's check it out. One and also two, if you see them in here. Hopefully you're gonna see in the camera. So it's just one up there and one up there. That's a positive one, the plus, whatever you call them. Just undo these boys in here. Also, they're probably two different sides. One is a little bit shorter, one is a little bit longer. Usually, is maybe not on these. Yeah, coming off pretty easy, no problem whatsoever. Even using this little screwdriver. Also, if you want to see more videos about this KTM, follow my channel. Uh, as you as you probably see already, if not, I got so many bikes probably honestly nearly most of the top brands in 125s definitely ktms wiser devs mt cbrs uh cb125 even r and uh keyway Slex models oh my god just name it basically all models and you can see the parts are taken off to replace them uh, reviews i do every single one i do a review maximum speed if, if it's worth it to take it uh, to pay money for it things like that anyways right so you've got that, them two boys off seems like this is just a little bit more it's hard to work actually when you've got a camera on one end and a screwdriver in another come on so cool we got that one off boom drop it down also as i said the one is going to be longer and one is going to be shorter can see the one is a little bit longer it goes on this side in here because it's a uh, further to go and that's it just undo just take it off you can see the cable acceleration cable comes out like that and boom that one is off but also the job is not done yet uh, we need to get this grip rubber off and replace it with this boy in here I'm not too sure it's gonna be easy but let's have a look Okie dokie, I'm probably not going to show you the correct way to take it, this thing off But if he's damaged You've got nothing to lose basically And you can get the knife But also we're going to show you what's inside And if you don't want, don't want to damage it Also you can do probably like that And it should come out Probably the best way is to heat up a little bit But in this case I'm not going to struggle because I know it's damaged anyway I'm going to use my knife and take it out like that 
but you see my steps if you like if you pull it like this it's not going to be easy but it can be done i've done it before just this time i really don't need this part anymore so i'm not going to waste my time on it use a knife it's nothing really inside as you see there's a little lines what holds it it's no glue or nothing so don't be worried about just if you replace it get this away it's been damaged anyway so one part down we did we took this one this what we did we took this little boy off and what we're gonna do we're gonna put the new one on hopefully it fits it goes with not problem a little bit more power sorry I couldn't Just like that. It's not the easiest way, but that's what we do. Fortunately, use a little bit W40, make it a little bit slippery. And it looks like that. And then let's have a look in here. So, uh, like I said, it's not easy to work like this, but it is what it is. So we place this boy in here. Close it down. We took this little boy off. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna put the new one on. Hopefully, it fits. Slippery, and it looks like that. And then let's have a look. In. Okay, don't you remember we got this end coming on anyways? So let's have a try. To... It's, it's not easy to hold the camera as I said. So we place this one on the top in here, just like that. So Tala he does the job, he works pretty good, and we're gonna put end up and it will look pretty cool as well. Okie dokie, so we got this one off. I didn't show you on the video how to put it back because end of the day it's not easy to hold the camera up and, and do the job. So it looks like that. It looks pretty cool actually. I like it. It's not too bad. Also, now we're going to put this lever in here. It's probably uh, also going to be a very easy job and let's crack on with this one. We take our bolt back. I will try to show you on a video because it's not that easy to keep the camera up. So what you do, just place this bolt in here, screw it in, it's probably the easiest job ever to so replace them. Get your screwdriver, screw it in. Cool, put that one in, does the job. that nice so that one off that one on also don't forget about this little boy on the bottom in here I put that one back definitely so that's the job done as you see this side already acceleration does the job also new levers it looks it looks much better as you see this side in here pretty basic nothing wow and uh, look at this side already much up color match ups really with the bike and uh, it gives that little look a little bit better so yeah one side done and let's crack on the second side left side is a little bit different uh, if you compare to the right side for right side we got a uh, bolt like this the screw the negative one on a screwdriver and also 10 millimeter little boy on the bottom but this side for some reason we got crossed we got the plus sign in here and eight millimeter little boy on the bottom so we use different tools nothing complicated but don't ask me why i really don't know and uh this time we're going to place my camera just like that in here and you can see my steps whatever i do just use the 10 8 millimeter and a little bit yes we got it 
it off so it looks like that similar to same uh, right so yeah just pull it out like this and release your cable in here that's it that one is off so just show you step uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this boy in here place it in this hole in here and just try to put this one back in here just like that and put my screw from the top what you do show you about this little boy in here just start up your bike start it up so it comes up and what you do you press the clutch go on the first gear and release it and see how far it releases you see that's pretty far already so what we do put back in the neutral go back in the neutral and just screw this one a little bit inside and that would make clutch make it a little bit better so we've got a clutch yeah see it's nearly halfway what I like is to do is halfway so we don't have to really wait too long so the clutch as it releases just like that let's have a look now nice just a little just a little bit more just a little bit more so we release this ball big one and screw that main one inside sometimes not easy yeah that's doing me so basically as you screw more in he releases faster the less he's going out he releases with a longer distance if you know what I mean still adjustable yeah so clutch works acceleration works and the front brake works as well happy days okay this side is as well pretty easy so you got to these two little boys one in this one in this side and one in this side in here you just take the top off don't break any wires please because that will cost you a little bit of money because I don't want to damage actually this uh, grip in here so what I'm going to do we can undo another bolt in here it's another boy just we're gonna undo this one and that gonna release is that metal frame uh, clip cl uh, whatever you call it so release that one that comes out just like this and you got your optional part off the button screen and now it's easier to work with this point here so first of all what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna try to push it just pull it out it may work, I know they use a little a little bit of glue in here. Help. Worst case, cut it down. If you know you got the new one and you're 100% sure it will fit, just cut it down. Not coming off at all for some reason, so I'm just going to cut it down. I did that side I'm 100% sure that my new levels will I was thinking to save this one but to be honest it's not the best way to show you actually to take these off I've done it uh, before in the same model but for some reason I just want to see why it's really not coming off I heated up use the W40 uh, use a lot of tools and it's still not coming off so I got this option anyways so because I'm going to replace the new one Anyways, yeah, he's been. I will tell you why it's not coming off because, as you see in here, somebody else used a glue and probably some different one, not the manufacturer one, one. And uh, I probably wouldn't get this one off, anyways. So, this is the only way I can do. See. Unfortunately, some cases, as you can see in my one, that side came off with no problem whatsoever. But you see, even using a knife, it's not coming off so easy. So, unfortunately, yeah, we couldn't take it off, as you see. Someone properly glued it on. It's not original, I'm sure it's not, because uh, 
I did the same model uh, two weeks ago, replaced both of them and it was coming off much easier than this one. But you can see someone use it probably super glue or something like that. That's why you can't break it and just take it off even with the heat gun. So let's clean this up and put the new one back. Okay, I push it back on. Uh, push it back on, uh, comes on pretty actually easy. Uh, gonna put back this point here on this end. Uh, put two boys in here, just finish this one off. And then Okay, sorry guys, yeah, if you find this uh, video helpful for yourself, uh, just smash that like button and subscribe and uh, comment below if you want to know something a little bit more. As you see, we changed these grips, looks pretty cool. I'm loving it anyways. It was not easy to get the old ones off, but it is what it is. Sometimes it's not going as a plant. So, the more videos coming up to take this uh, foam plastic off, we're going to respray it as a black. Also, we're going to take these foam plastics off, we're going to take the petrol tank off, and we're going to check what's going on with ABC, ABS. And uh, yeah, follow me, there's going to be more videos coming up, and uh, this bike is going to be as a brand new again.